What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. The action begins now. Okay, action. You're fucking super loud. Uh, really? Yeah. That sound fine on mine. <laughs> You're super loud on mine. Yeah? Yeah. What do we do? That's fine. Write it out. I can I can do it. You can you can deal? Yeah, I can, can deal with your loud shitty voice for the whole time. <laughs> the action begins now. Welcome back to the podcast. With your referee, Herb Dean. And uh, no, Mike we, Dean, the yeah, producer. <laughs> we should have a podcast referee. <laughs> Instead of a Jamie, it should be a ref who like when <laughs> shit's getting flagrant. <laughs> yeah, whenever you make a dark joke. Yeah, he throws a flag. Yeah, red red yeah, card. Red card, sir. <laughs> Penalty box. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, did you see that fucking, uh, it was a tweet, it was a video, and it was, it said, <laughs> me, whenever I go into Guitar Center, mm. employee, ah, fuck, he's here again, mm. me, and then it's a video of Mike Dean just going to town on the piano, <laughs> but like, it's, they have like the most annoying synth selected, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's getting his hair cut too, and he's just ripping it on the piano, it's so funny. <laughs> Haircut while piano is sick. Hard as fuck. Yeah. So busy that you can't even stop. <laughs> you have to get the haircut. Yo, speaking of um, people being annoying, I so I know when I did the Bachelor Nation Litimus Maximus, I know he said something then that was kind of like, all right, he's they're trying to be hip or whatever. Okay. So how and that, that was last year, right? That was probably a year ago. Yeah, we were joking about that. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like, the like season last, finale last season. Not last, but maybe like six months or something like okay. that. Yeah, whatever. What? Yeah, because it was on. This is during the Bachelor. That he oh, said this is it. the Bachelorette. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So, he. God damn it, dude! I like I fell the fuck out laughing because obviously I had to watch the finale. Mm -hmm. uh, which, by the obviously. way, by the way, just hilarious. Okay. Just the whole thing. First of all, their whole strategy of like introducing these WWF storylines mm -hmm. has worked. Mm -hmm. Like they're they. <laughs> With the last Bachelorette, it was like supposed to be his redemption story. How she got clowned by whoever. Uh, she got clowned in the finals of the Bachelor. Like the the weird race car driver dude didn't pick her. Oh, or right, like he right, picked right, her right, and right, then he right. went back on it. Oh, she was on the last. Oh, right, they always do that, right? Yeah. So, so she was on the race car driver season, which was the la the one that we were talking about six months ago. More or less, whatever. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And, and so then, this is her redemption story. No, there was there was. So then they had her redemption story. Okay. And then this season is another Bachelorette and like the ratings improved by like 20% or something okay. like relative to hers. Okay. So just like Aww. the current season with like Luke P and fucking, you know, coming through and Hulk smashing the proposal and all that. It's, it worked for him okay. like is what I'm saying. Okay. So hats off to them. But basically she, she chooses, <coughs> <laughs> she passes on Superman like, like probably the closest you could get to Superman, like as Clark Kent, like dude's tall, come over, jacked, wide chest. He just can, he can fly. Oh yeah, he could definitely fly. Okay, cool. He could fly right into your pants. That's for sure. <laughs> Flying anybody. She passes on him for a uh, like a five nine guitar playing asshole, who sort of. Okay. So he's he moved to Nashville to like become a singer and all this shit, mm -hmm. and the motherfucker had a girlfriend going into the show and he told her he was just going on the show for music. <laughs> and what? Then, the Bachelorette found out through like People magazine or something. Like she read an article where someone's like, yeah, this fool has a has a girlfriend. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That guy sucks. Yeah. So his, first of all, when they meet on camera to like hash it out, that's the least energy i've seen someone put into being sorry <laughs> it was like wait wait he met with the ex-girlfriend to hash it out no no, no he met with because they were technically still engaged at that point but they weren't living in the same city oh so she wait who was engaged so the bachelorette chooses guitar playing asshole yeah and so they get engaged they get engaged he, and then she finds out that, that he yeah. had a girlfriend when he started the show yeah through people magazine damn yeah and then she starts going back she <coughs> she she just the whole situation is hilarious, but this dude, it was funny watching him try to cry and he just couldn't because he didn't care. Like he just really, he, and he's I was, like looking down. Yeah. 
Dude had... He looks up and nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Rubbing a whole onion in his eye. Like, please, <laughs> please let the... Make me sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like cuts the root and just staring in it. Just, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm going to feel something here. I, I promise. He, <laughs> juicing them into his eye. He's supreme patting yeah. himself. <laughs> just nothing. Yeah. How? <laughs> Doesn't even blink when the, when the <laughs> shit hits his eyeball. He's like... Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. How is this possible? <laughs> so he, he he has some great highlights in his speech. One of them was he says, "I, you're the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. So tell me what I need to do to make this right, or something to that effect." She she goes, "I don't know, I don't know." And I was just waiting for him. He need to, sorry, <laughs> I was waiting for him to cut the silence and be like. I'll write an album about you. That's what I'll do. I'll write a whole <laughs> album about you. We'll, we'll, we, it's not a marketing play at all. I'm just, you know, it's going to be a 100% genuine for me and you uh-huh. album uh-huh. from me about you. But it's a, you know, <laughs> just did like, he say that? No, I was waiting for him to do it and he how, didn't. How sick would that be though if he said that and then he did that and then he went back to his ex girlfriend yeah. and was like, told you, <laughs> all for the music. I told you. Now I'm a famous country singer. <laughs> dude I, I couldn't he sang her a song when he proposed to her and I'm like if that wasn't just him auditioning himself mm-hmm. he said alright I'm gonna propose to her I'm cheating on her it doesn't even matter <laughs> I'm gonna walk right up to her I'm gonna play this song and I'm gonna blow up Spotify <laughs> I'm gonna rip this song yeah. it's like not even a yeah, love song yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> some <laughs> other shit <laughs> just completely just about a truck She's like trying to figure out the metaphors and stuff. Like, <laughs> and I'm on my raptor <laughs> riding into the sunset. Oh, I must be the raptor. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, you're not. It's a, it's my it's a truck. It's, it's a, a really truck. nice truck. It's my truck. <laughs> it's the one I'm going to buy after this shit goes platinum. <laughs> <laughs> the best part was after that, she says, you know, and I was thinking back. To after we got engaged, and when I asked you if you told people, you said to me, yeah, I told my friends I won. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Dude, Boys, I did it. Yeah, yeah, I told them I won. I won the fucking show. <laughs> oh, cool. So you're engaged? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah but, but it's I mean, just like a condition of winning. Yeah, you know, I mean, I won. I fucking won. I Number got first one. place. I got first place. Dude, no. he, he has no idea that it's <clears throat> like everything's real. Yeah, 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 exactly. He just thinks it's a game <laughs> show. Yeah, I was like telling her I loved her and stuff because, like, you know, dude, it was so- that's like it, they told me that's part of it. That's yeah, part of it. That's right? like this is all one big. Yeah, it's not. It's not for real, is it? No, dude. Well, I mean, I actually fell in love with her, but just for the game. <laughs> so I am in love with her, but it it honestly felt like the Bachelor trying to convince people that the show's still real because <laughs> his whole angle was. I didn't know I could find love on a reality show, but I did, and now I lost it. Oh, like uh, yeah. oh, so she broke up with him? Or yeah. She calls it off. Yeah, she ended up calling it off, and then really? Superman comes on the show, and then she asks him on a date, and then so this is the litmus maximus part. Okay, so Chris goes. So just to be clear, we're gonna give this a shot, which is fucking strange because like. Okay, they're giving it a shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird that... No, Chris is there too. No, I know. He's there every step, even after the show's over. I know. It just got me thinking that that's how invested people are in The Bachelorette. Like, they think they're going to date this fool. Yeah. So, he's like, we're going to give this a shot. <clears throat> and then she's like, well, yeah, me, yeah, blah, blah, blah. He's like... <laughs> he's like, quiets the audience down to go. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say, <laughs> we can ship this. <laughs> no way yeah no that one way. hit me in the balls oh I, no yeah i started dying laughing i was like are you fucking serious yeah and, and all of america just gagged at the exact same time <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> we can, i think everyone watching that show was like yes we can yes we can chris <laughs> yes we can did you know she had sex in a windmill <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say before. <laughs> what can I do to make this up to you? Please <laughs> let me know. You can you can take me over there and fuck my brains out right in that windmill yeah. right there. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do the shit yeah. out of that. He fucking 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. What about a song though? <laughs> I want you to take me and dust my cheeks over there in that windmill. Okay, then I can play you a song after. Okay, well, yeah, we'll do the song after, or because I do want to do the song still, <laughs> or, or, before, or before, or during. We could do it during too, <laughs> dude. You know, people are gonna still listen to his album. Oh yeah, for to, like, sure. See what it's all about. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it, dude. I'm thinking I, about doing a couple of TikToks with the songs. <laughs> maybe I was expecting like when they go to the commercial break, listen to the song that Jed wrote about Hannah after they broke up. <laughs> now on Apple Music. It's just like I'm so sorry, dude. She <laughs> to she, both my ex girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking she takes off the ring at some point, yeah. and it goes like ooh, and he like he, she puts it down to get like a shot of it. Nice. And that whole thing just feels like they're really bad at ads. Like they do it like really 1940 style. Like instead of like a semi innocuous like shot of like drinking Coca Cola, they always do like some really shoehorn shit where. Like a dude from Halo Top just interrupts a date. Okay. <laughs> it feels like a Tim and Eric bit every time. Dressed, dressed like a big ice cream. <laughs> yeah. And like he'll be pushing like a branded like thing. And yeah, like, like they'll just be on a date. And he's like, anybody want some ice cream? <laughs> like it was the 50s. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God, I love Halo Top. And they eat out of a Halo Top thing for like the whole date. It's just, it's hilariously uh, bad. That's awesome. Yeah. Fuck. That's so sick. We need fucking shit like that. Why don't we get endorsements like that? Yeah, crazy, crazy heavy endorsements. Just mid podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be so sick. <laughs> yeah, and I was running in my Nike fucking free run three point connected to my Apple Watch. No, no, it's it's we're sitting here like doing this, and then the In and Out guy, oh, like, that takes up, your okay. drive through order. Yeah, just comes in here. Is like, what what can I get you boys? <laughs> oh man, you just read my mind. I was totally <laughs> thinking I could go for a nice double double right now. Yeah, I'm. F- Hamish. Do an animal style fries, please. <laughs> I just I so be sick. Better than the fucking T Mobile guys. I know. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, they don't know about that. No, that's a bonus no, episode. That's a bonus bit. episode. You thing, gotta, go, so, yeah. gotta go watch the last bonus yeah, episode. Yeah, sorry. Dude, dude. It's not for you. I just think we gotta parody The Bachelor, but everything is like an ad. Like like because in the finales they always show something and then cut to the studio. So I just thought it'd be really funny if we just parody Chris thinking, wow. Hannah really removed her twenty-five thousand dollar K jeweled ring. <laughs> in the and just like everything is like some type of fucking product placement. Like we're Chris. Yeah, like we're Chris. Yeah, and, and it's like some dual like fucking. Wow, I can't believe she took off that ring. That ring was twenty five thousand dollars. Twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Actually, pretty good value. Yeah. Remember, every kiss begins with K. It does. You know that ring can be financed for zero percent down. <laughs> 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 now back to the bachelor and <laughs> just fucking dude this is actually semi-related but get get this shit okay, okay? this is what my buddy was telling me yesterday <clears throat> when i first started watching love island it was when i went to london right mm-hmm. and uh to visit my friend yeah he's now in la and he's telling he's telling me about how like how the season went down over there in mm-hmm. london uh first of all ov is like the biggest celebrity now <laughs> i'm in, sure in the uk yeah. everybody fucking loves him he's yeah. like the darling he like won the show yeah because everybody fucking loves him. Second, he told me that, okay, so the channel is ITV, mm-hmm. right? The production company that produces it is called Sling, some some weird name, but they okay. basically have had hit after hit after hit. They invented Wife Swap. Mm. Um, now they produce Love Island and like a bunch of other like super successful reality shows. So the guy who started it is like fucking a billionaire, right? Yeah. He's like Ryan Seacrest or yeah. whatever. So their new show, this is crazy. They basically take... They take like a couple or like a family from like every, you know, walk of life, uh-huh. every, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, it's like a gay couple and then it'll be like a posh couple and a couple okay. from, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And um, they all watch big TV events. So it'll be like finale, like the finale of Love Island okay. or like, oh, and then they whatever. argue. No. And then it shows it's basically just a giant reaction video. So it's like you watch them watching the season and they edit it so that you can see each person's reaction oh. and their conversations to what's happening. Oh, weird. Isn't that meta as fuck? Yeah, that but is. But it's like a super big hit in London, apparently. That's some fucking Black Mirror shit right it there. It kind of is, right? No, it is a little bit. It is a little bit. It's like It would be like a, like a part of Black Mirror where it's like everyone just loves watching other people watch things. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It is pretty crazy. I mean, it's crazy that it's working. And it, I also feel like it, it could only work there. Because, mm-hmm. like, Americans are, like, they're not self-deprecating enough. They can't, no. like, watch themselves, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 
that would be like it's they're like too proud. A hundred percent. Yeah. Because in order to enjoy that show, you have to watch and be able to like make fun of. No, we're we're super. I mean, maybe your you know, own culture a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I've I've heard that even the UK is like a, can be a bit divisive, like as far as like politics and stuff. But I feel like America, obviously, we can speak from that. Like right now, shit's super like divided. Yeah. So a show like that would just be like, oh. But maybe that's the point. Yeah, that's true. I thought it would. I thought that was. That's why. That's what I mean. They argue. Like I felt like that's the initial point of the show is like, get people like. They're all separated, so you yeah. all, you basically just watch them in their own context. But I guarantee that just triggers so much like discussion. Yeah, it's like that's what could make the show a hit is like everyone talking about it. Yeah, being like oh you have to see it's super strange, but this and that. Yeah. So I actually watched. By the way, if you know what that's <clears throat> called blow up the comments because i want to like watch a i forget the name of it but it, someone probably gonna know so yeah yeah i and, and to that point i watched an uh an episode of euphoria last night oh yeah okay so how's that first off they plugged the shit out of love island in the episode i watched and it's like uh zendaya's like character is like binge watching the shit out of love island which makes me think that love island is like sort of culturally relevant culturally relevant ugh like with younger people hmm. because like she's like like it, it's it's not described how she's how she's watching it but she's like an american kid hmm. so it makes me think like i wonder if a lot of young people have like engage like are watching love island like bootlegged like you know not us because we're old as fuck but yeah do you know what i mean yeah 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 joe me yeah yeah, my, yeah bro yeah joe me yeah bro <laughs> ovi ovi <laughs> so what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> that's anna <laughs> when she was like, oh, "Could yeah. you just ask me to be your girlfriend?" <laughs> then he just walks over. I love how when Ovi walked over, he just like picked up India, just like one finger, just, just removes yeah. it from the situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do think it'd be good for us to like, talk about it or whatever. Like. Should we discuss the finale? <clears throat> we can in a sec, but I want to say so. A lot of people didn't like Euphoria, and I, what I do know is that it was written <clears throat> by a former addict. Mm -hmm. I know some people felt like. It's too much. A Love Island addict? A Love Island No. <laughs> oh, like a... Oh, yeah, okay. a former yeah. drug addict. Yeah. And, and it's like too Hollywood or like it's too many things like working together or like strung together and like paints like a really dark image of high school. But watching... I obviously have only seen one episode. But watching one episode, I actually felt like what well, was really cool about it. One, it's shot super crazy. Mm-hmm really like interesting camera moves a lot of continuous takes which i feel like you don't see in like big ass shows okay big ass shows always feel like shot reverse shot shot reverse shot mm -hmm. and it's just like a lot of cutting mm -hmm. and and it, that's i think what kind of makes the show cool is you have a lot of moments where it, it's like dialogue for maybe two three minutes straight and it's like intense dialogue mm -hmm. and the camera's like like it's like slow sweeps. It's like moving around a table and it's like moving between all the characters, no cut points. Hmm. So it's like, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> In that regard, I actually felt the show's interesting because it makes it feel like it's almost like fantasy. Like it's like this weird, um, oh shit. It's a tug boy. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, no one's going to get that. A tug like, boy? Tug, I meant tug shack. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you Is talking this about? Tug shack text. Don't worry about the tug shack, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, but it, I actually, I think the show, I, it makes me want to go back and watch the whole thing. I think it could actually be pretty interesting. I get that, like, it might be, like, overwhelming with how many, like, themes are tied together, but. Are they I, doing, are they doing fentanyl in the first episode? Uh, Yeah, first or second. But, really? like, but the way I look at it is I kind of view it as, like, um, like, the Fortnite of fucking teenage dramas. Okay. Where it's, like, all these different elements are, like, pulled into, like, one map. Okay. And it's like it's kind of interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like people, people who sell drugs, you know, people with um, sort of like that, like they have like a a, a trans actor on the show, mm. um, and she like it, um, she like she she's like kind of I, I think she is either it like either covers her transition or she's like I don't think she's transis transitioning through the show, but like that's a part of it. Um, obviously, like drug abuse and it's just like a lot of different things and. I think it's kind of interesting to weave them together. Mm. So actually, like, I, I don't know. I have to go by, back and watch the show, and I'll probably have tons of stupid shit to say about it. Um, but, I mean, I think it was ultimately it was cool to see high school in a way that wasn't motherfucking Riverdale. Yeah. Every high school show is fucking 
eh, dance and uh, and yeah. like high school does have dark ass dark ass moments yeah. for people. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I mean, I guess thirteen reasons why, but that that was just a podcast as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> I never watched that one either. Yeah, that was that was that was just somebody promoting a podcast. Okay. <laughs> Crazy ass podcast promo, if you ask me. <laughs> And and <clears throat> Euphoria is just Love Island. Yeah, promo. Lo, yeah, Love yeah. Island promo. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing we took from yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, lots of intense themes. But Love Island was in that shit. <laughs> and that was cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Amba and Craig. Yeah, they, they won. They won. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If dude. you get that, you can you just just reverse back a little bit. Yeah. And then, <laughs> You know we'll, we're gonna say it, so then you can skip over it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna piss some people off with oh, that, yeah, dude. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Sorry. Uh, yeah, our bad. <clears throat> Actually, I don't really care. Um, um, no, but it was it was good. I'm 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 kind of glad they won. I thought that Tommy and Molly May were a, a shoe in. I thought they were definitely gonna win. Yeah. Because they were. But that's the like most season one. In love and the most. Yeah. Uh, like together the whole thing like they were always like the number one couple like anytime the uk voted on anything they would be number one yeah but i think because they're a shoe in that's why people didn't want them to win i thought it'd be so i just <clears throat> thought it'd be so funny if because you know how they do the the split or share thing oh if molly no if if greg just kept the money oh we're <laughs> like he was there for like a week and then was like, like yeah i'm gonna keep it yeah I've come in I've, <laughs> I've got what i've need and yeah oh yeah i want the money yeah <laughs> what actually what I was thinking would be really funny is if he took the money and then Michael came out and yeah. Greg's like oh he's actually me mate <laughs> <laughs> and then Michael's there he's like yeah I've come to chat to her, to let her <laughs> that's a great that's a great fucking impression <laughs> I've come to chat to her to let her know like, like I can't like fully do it but it's like <laughs> I have been a bit of a dickhead but like <laughs> That was good. Greg is my Dickhead. mate. That'd be so funny, yeah. dude. And she's just like, <laughs> I love the Newcastle thing of using us. Referring I love to it. Herself. I fucking love it. I He's say that so, shit now. so mean to us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it sounds creepy. I love it. Yeah, it sounds like Smeagol a little bit. Yeah. He's been mean to us. <laughs> <laughs> He's been mean to us. <laughs> I've come to uh, chat to her. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it was a, it was um. Michael is a wide boy. Yeah. That fool's wide as shit. Yeah, he's fucking built, dude. Yeah. He's got, he's got a fucking build. <laughs> I feel like when he falls, it sounds like metal hitting the pavement. Yeah. Like clunk. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get like, how do you fucking like maintain that? <clears throat> you gotta um, just work out all the time. Steroids. No. Or, or yeah, he's juicing. I don't think he's juicing. No, nah, probably not. I think he's just one of those dudes that's just naturally yeah. like. Just one of them Arnold motherfuckers, made for it. Um, yeah, and so and they're fucking. So the next season is in December. Yeah, it's like they're that, gonna do it twice a year now. Like that's Bachelor. sick. That's sick. It's fucking sick. Um, uh, Curtis mm -hmm. exposed. I like that his mom came in and was like, "We've we're so proud of you. Yeah, we're so proud of you. We like that you were honest with Amy." I was like, "How could you be proud of him?" Yeah, yeah. He fucked over like three people in this show. Yeah, <laughs> he's a he's a he's a people pleaser. I like when Ovi just pulled him aside. Yeah, <laughs> it was like just basically like, "Hey, son, <laughs> quit being a bitch. <laughs> like you, you just need to pick a side. You yeah. can't be all down the middle and wishy washy." He's basically just calling him wishy washy ass. I don't know. I like that though. It was funny when Chris told. Who was it? So he told Anna, or he told Mora, that Jordan was going to go and talk to India or whatever, right? Yeah. And then so everything blew up because of that. And then Chris was like, what'd you do? And he was like, I told Mora mm -hmm. that Jordan mm -hmm. wanted to talk to India. He was like, what was your thought process behind that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Greg, you mean Greg? <laughs> yeah, no, Chris said, oh, it was Greg. It was yeah, Greg, right, yeah. Yeah, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, what the fuck were you thinking? Yeah. What was your thought process behind that? He's yeah. like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Just zero code, yeah. man. Those, those people, the, the fucking loose lip sync ship shit is crazy. I wanted Anna off the motherfucking show so bad. Yeah, yeah. Her overly judgmental, miserable ass, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't, like, get, stay out of people's shit. 
she has the argue I like the argument style or the discussion style where you just repeat a three word sentence over and over and over again mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's how you argue. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not hear me? Do you not hear me? I'm sorry, do you not hear me? 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 You just asked me to be your girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend. Yes, Do you like, not hear me? And it's just like, <laughs> say something else. Yeah, just one thing. One other word. One thing. Maybe. I, that's when I. That's when I really loved Michael. Yeah. When he just like she'd do that, and he's like, "Okay, you're not listening. Yeah. You're not listening. <laughs> Why am I here? You're not listening. You're a child. <laughs> yeah. You're a child. I can't. I can't even speak. I can't even speak. Okay, it's done then. It's done. It's done. It's done then. She hated yeah. that shit. Yeah. You're just gonna walk away. Yeah, she's gonna walk away. Oh yeah, just walk away. Oh yeah, just walk away. Okay, just walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk, 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 walk. Jordan, Jordan played it super cool at the end. Yeah, I know. He's like, he just. <laughs> that's all you can really do. Yeah. In that situation. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like when she was like, the doors closed. He's like, right, okay, okay, stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and he just stepped Dude, up. Okay. His his fucking face. When he's talking to India and she's just like, yeah, I thought you were my mate. And there's that moment where he just realized like everything he just did. Yeah. And he just goes, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he just, and everything is about to come crashing down on him and he fucking knows it. This is such a good shot. It's so good. Yeah. The, the, the mate, the like, and like the way mate. like he draws back and like his left shoulder <laughs> came back. <laughs> It was just so good. It was just like, oh, like like she hit him. Like, oh, mate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow. And you can just feel the tension building because yeah. Mora's talking to Anna and that shit's about to go down. <laughs> so and it's good. like, you just fucked yourself, it's man. So good, bro. But you know what I also loved was, um, oh, God damn it. Oh, how just clueless Anton was. <laughs> I know. I loved how clueless he was. So I go to the, he's like, I go to the clerk and he's like, I write down my number and he's just chuckling away. And she's like, what? It's Everyone's so kind of like, oh, where's the, where's the joke? Where's the joke? Where's the joke? <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Spoiler on spoilers. Yeah. So sorry. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Everyone. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Say it, we should say it again. Spoiler, I don't think we got the bit out. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Also, for people that don't watch the show, sorry, it's probably just an awful ten minutes for you. But I've come to chat to her. Yeah. I want to get his voice down. Like, now, and now that it's on, you have it pretty close. I mean, I just have that line. Good. <clears throat> chat to her. I've come to chat to her. Also, now that this shit's gonna be on twice a year, it's just gonna be a constant thing in our podcast. Oh yeah, so it if is. You don't yeah. watch it. Yeah. Get maybe get on that shit. Maybe? Get, oh, maybe get on it, dude. Mm. How about you get on it? Yeah, maybe you go ahead and get on that shit. <laughs> um, a little shitty, but so uh, I want to. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> Just want to, you know, shout out Fantano. <laughs> okay. I mean, not real shout out. It was just funny. He. Uh, <laughs> so I was just faded last night, and I, I was, don't know why this thought came to me. I was watching porn. That's what it was. Mm. I was just thinking. Melon should just do a one porn review. Mm-hmm. And I was just chuckling at the idea of fucking <laughs> him reviewing porn. Because he, ta- he, he, he would put in the same effort that he does in an album, but like reviewing the porn. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> this is like thinking about him being like, Johnny Sin's previous releases, sort of DIY, you know, very um, uh, personable. And so this is his big first major production. Yeah. And I was just looking for a little more wow factor and i just didn't see it yeah um the going po- into it i mean it has all the ingredients of a, <laughs> of a great porn video yeah. right you have johnny sins who uh in the past has shown a lot of personality and uh super big dick <laughs> as well and so going into this what if video <laughs> and then you have um um Pretending like I'm blanking on a female porn star's <laughs> name when I have like eight. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Because... 
I straight up just fucking. Uh, that was some <laughs> acting right there. That was some fucking acting, baby. And uh, ah, what's a girl what's porn a, star's name? I've never, <laughs> I've never seen a girl before, actually. Um, what's a girl porn star? <laughs> yeah. I only know guys. It's really weird. Um. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is really funny. That is really fucking funny. Well, so whatever. So, um, Fantano, I deleted the tweet because I because people started like tagging him, but like they just kept like g- like just shooting on his name, like Pornthony Fuck Tano here. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I was laughing. Damn, um, that got me. Yeah, <laughs> holy fuck. Yeah. I was just like, I don't want him to like wake up to just like Pornthony Fuck Tano like seventy two times. Like he's just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, I company shot Tano yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back the knee shot Tano here. <laughs> yeah. Cream to knee pie Tano here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anal cream to yeah, pie tano yeah. here, <laughs> folks. The internet's <laughs> the internet Buckthony Kake Tano here. Just yeah, the internet's the busiest. internet's horniest music nerd. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so someone sent him a screenshot of the tweet. Oh fuck! And he was like, uh, "Let's make one first with devil emojis." So I was like, "All right, okay." Does he live in L.A.? Um, I don't know. I think we'll fly out to a, we, we'll just meet up somewhere. Yeah. Put cool. the sex pa- s- sex tape on that piff is what I told him. Um, we're going to take a break real quick. Oh, we are. Yeah, we are. Damn. See you in a, see in a sec. <laughs> see you in a sex. Guys, we want to thank express VPN for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Cause admit it. You think that cyber crime is something that happens to other people, cyber bullying and cyber crime. Um, You may think that no one wants your data because it's super shitty, you have bad data, but guess what? Your data is actually good and it's very valuable to people. Um, Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. And to protect yourself from cyber criminals, you can use ExpressVPN. It secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. It's got easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, tablet. You just turn it on. And it protects you in just one click. And then you can safely surf on Starbucks Wi-Fi or whatever the fuck you're doing uh, without being snooped on or having your personal data stolen. Yeah. And uh, you can protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash TMG. That's expressvpn.com slash TMG for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash TMG to learn more. Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to thank the very lovely stamps.com. As you know, no one really has time to go to the post office. You're busy. Who's got time for that traffic, parking, lugging all those packages? It's a real hassle. That's why you need stamps.com. It's one of the most popular time-saving tools for small businesses. Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office and saves you money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office because who's really at the post office being like, y'all got any coupons? Nobody. Look, Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the post office to your computer, okay? Whether you're sending small office in, you know, packages and or, or you know, you're an online seller shipping out a ton of stuff. Even if you're a warehouse, uh, they got you covered. You can simply use your computer to print official U.S. postages um, 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Uh, stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off on priority mail. That's a lot of money. So you're saving time uh, and putting cash back into your pocket. It's no wonder over 70,000 small businesses use it. Right now, our listeners uh, are eligible for a special offer, a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. Uh, Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top, type in TMG. There is no commitment for the four weeks. Again, that's stamps.com. Click on the microphone, enter the promo code TMG. Guys, we also want to thank MeUndies for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Your undies? Uh, me undie, me undies. <laughs> it's here to change your underwear, okay? Um, not literally, of course, because you'd have to do that. Um, but they're going to change it figuratively, and they're going to make you a lot more comfortable. And uh, uh, right now, actually, ladies, there's a new feel-free collection that offers an ultra-soft waistband that maximizes comfort with Ooh. weightless feel designed with what? you in mind. Wow. Okay? 
New prints drop every Tuesday, so undie exhaustion be gone. Wow. MeUndies offers a flexible membership that has styles for both men, women, matching your boo, and even your dog. Uh, they don't just have undies, people. They also have super soft and comfy onesies and loungewear perfect for, well, you guessed it, lounging. <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. They're super soft. I'm lounging in these. You guessed it. I'm lounging. And uh, MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. This is a no-brainer, especially because they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And so go ahead, get your 15% off your first pair, <clears throat> free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Just go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. That's MeUndies.com slash TMG. And let's all lounge together. All right, all right. guys. We, we um, Apparently, we've been doing the ad reads too good. So we just did those ones boring. So <laughs> I don't you, know, you that missed, one's kind of funny. Uh, not as funny as we've made them, but here's the funny thing I will say. I just love when I get caught up yeah. in, in the copy sometimes, and I just read some like super <clears throat> super marketing shit that I, like, I, I, I would, would have rephrased say. if I didn't. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking about like maybe the time or whatever, and I mm-hmm. just... <laughs> <laughs> and I, I feel my... I catch myself saying it like an infomercial or something like that. <laughs> well... So I, I I mean I just thought of two things while we were reading them, and I'm just gonna put them here because you know fuck it. Uh, so the the me undies read, mm. fucking you can match your lady and your dog, <laughs> and I was thinking that's the best that's the best threesome I've ever. <laughs> Y'all got matching underwear because when you get a dog, dogs want to join. <laughs> if you get a dog, get ready, sir. <laughs> yeah. If they hear affection, oh, they scratching on the door. They'd be fucking up the vibe, man. Really? It's to the you just let them or or adding to it. <clears throat> I mean, depending on how you see it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, like you could, you know, you could you could train your dog and do all that shit. Put them in a put them in a milk crate, whatever. But you know, Ollie is just so innocent that we just you know just put them right there. Give them a good view. Yeah. Put them right. <laughs> it's fucked up. No, you know, he's never watching. Okay. He's just kind of around, you okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like he just might be, you know, chilling on the floor or something. Mm. You know, he, he doesn't get in it in it. He's not watching. He's listening, though. Yeah, a little he bit. He can hear it. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we, we go stone silent. <laughs> we go stone silent. We don't move too much. So, yeah. like, it's like it's like a baby's in the room. We just do real quick. Just derfing. Yeah. Just the sound of clothes rubbing up on each other. How's that? How's that? Are you close? No. Okay. Okay. I'm close. <laughs> Me too. All right, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know. Your um, fucking headphones are pissing me off today. <laughs> there. Nice, dude. Yeah, that works. Yeah. I like that. Headphone cords, they should figure out a way to get rid of these, man. Yeah. Wireless headphones. Think of that. How black mirror <laughs> is that? Yeah. Wireless headphones. <laughs> It It makes it more intense when you do that with your hands, dude. Like, you can do this, but look at this. Yeah, Yeah, I love the marketing for wireless shit. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm in info infomercial mode right now. You're you're just the person from the infomercial? Yeah. Yeah. Look at these wires. It's like a lasso trailing from your face. Somehow get it on my neck. (laughs) (laughs) You know, speaking of fucking ads, I saw the most depressing Acer ad the other day. This is a free read right here for Acer, and this shit had me dying. Okay, first of all, what up? I gotta show you this fucking string of messages. Oh, what the hell was this? Okay, oh, wait, it, it went away. How do I? Uh-oh. Come on, bitch. My face isn't, I'm not. You're, so I got a fat face right now. Fat That's what it is. Here. Your face is too fat. All right, hold up. Um, uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right. So I'm on Reddit, not that I'm normally ever here. And uh, this what, is a promoted. What is, what is it? What this is a that? promoted ad from Acer. Reddit, R E D D I T. Okay. It's like a video so website. News. Okay. Got yeah. It, got it, got news it. and videos. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> You sit down to game at 8 p.m. Next thing you know, it's 2 a.m. The last six hours are a blur. You know what isn't a blur? Your game. Thanks to the smooth, blur-free gameplay of the Nitro 5 with a 144 hertz refresh rate. Who the fuck? It's 8 p.m. You sit down. 
You've wasted seven hours. Yeah. It's now 4 a.m. Your dog's hungry. Yeah. Your girlfriend is crying. You haven't eaten. You haven't eaten. Your kids are crying too. You, you have kids. <laughs> you just remember that you have a family. <laughs> They're all crying. Because you want to play games all night mm-hmm. and avoid your responsibilities. Mm-hmm. That's pretty fucked up, isn't it? But you know, you know what is <laughs> not fucked up <laughs> is your aim. <laughs> for the 144 hertz refresh rate on your Acer Nitro 5. You can play for three days straight. <laughs> You can completely forget about your family. That's how good it is. You won't need them. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> they just become some weird propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> they don't support you. They don't see they don't see your dreams. Who how dare they? How dare they laugh in the face of you, an aspiring gamer? <laughs> there was some ad someone sent me an ad like that on Facebook. It was like for like a gamer drink. And it was like a nine paragraph thing that read like propaganda. It was like People laugh at gamers. They don't take you seriously. They don't think you're an athlete, but we know you are. Ooh. And it's just like, oh, okay. It's like, what is this, a recruitment? Yeah, chill deal? out, man. This ain't the military. I couldn't believe on Twitter someone tweeted an image of like the biggest sports <clears throat> winnings this year. Oh, yeah. And it was, you know, the PGA Tour is second. Oh, no, sorry, Wimbledon. The guy won Wimbledon's in second, 2.9 million. Tiger Woods is third, PGA Tour, or the fucking, right? Yeah. Whatever, Master, say it. The Masters, whatever. We know where this is 2. going. 2.8 million, something like that. Number one. Who's number Fortnite one? Fortnite champion, three point whatever million. Yeah, suck it. The biggest purse. Suck it, this sports year world. was won by the Fort, the kid who won the Fortnite world championship. Suck it. Oh, bro. That kid is rich now, bro. First of all, he's 16. Yeah. And uh, I was dying laughing at this, shout out this boy, Avalanche. He was posting all these fucking memes about like, <laughs> just like girls who don't understand gaming <laughs> yeah. like just like just being into his money just being <laughs> like so you want how much that's fucking hot like, or like Fortnite's like what oh that's so cool <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a 16 year old kid yeah just like so innocent <laughs> that's the only time where I've tweeted a Chris Hansen image I'm like bro he's 16 <laughs> Leave that boy alone. Uh, that's pretty funny. What's he going to do now? <sighs> Play more games. That's it. Or just pick up a major drug habit. You know? <clears throat> no. I mean, bro, pro gaming has been a thing in like Korea. There's like pictures of like this kid, Bisu, like a pro like StarCraft player. He had like a fucking Ferrari. He's like 20. Yeah, but it's almost more, it's almost more accepted there as a sport. And oh, as totally. Like yeah. a career than it is yeah. here yet. Still yeah. like that was the main that was like kind of the main uh, narrative for the whole thing is, holy fuck, what is Fortnite? This kid just won $3 million doing what? Yeah. Whereas like I feel like in Korea and stuff like that, they're like, yeah, StarCraft. Everyone fucking knows it. Bro, you know what's crazy is Americans culturally, we're just jacking Korea now. Yeah. Like we just want to be Korea. Yeah. Okay, look at E-Boys. Mm-hmm. Them fools are just fucking diet K-pop stars. Yeah, true. They have That's all the K-pop true. star haircuts. Yeah, they, they do. They bleach their hair yeah, like that. they do. They want these little soft boy dancing, singing type of fucking... <laughs> so you know what it means, what we have to do... What? Is invest all of our money... Into... Kimchi. There we go. Because <laughs> it's going to be huge. Think about it. Oh, that would be that would be some shit if just America just turned just we stole kimchi and just rebranded it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you know, <laughs> freedom <McDonald's>. cabbage. <laughs> McDonald's has a freedom cabbage burger. Yeah, <laughs> so every every breakfast burrito comes with a fucking freedom cabbage in it. <laughs> Koreans are like, oh, okay, this is fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked up. That I mean, bro. There was that thing. There's an ad. Did you did you get ads for when you watched Love Island or no? No, I didn't. Um, I got all the UK ads just from mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, some of those ads, first of all, are fucking hilarious. Their concept of advertising is like so different. Yeah, it's like uh, they actually entertaining. <laughs> yeah, like super dark. There there was one for uh, the mobile company. I forget the brand. Like the logo is like the number three, mm-hmm. and. This dude like gets like a SIM card and he like realizes all these cool things he can do on his phone. And he fucking at some part he goes, I can fly. And he's like playing a game. And then in real life, he drives a fucking RV off a cliff and he dies. (laughs) And it's all these people at his funeral. And then like they make some pun about him being dead. And then he's in the audience like faking his death. 
Like he, he didn't ever actually died, but okay. it's, it's not clear if he died, but it's just like, it takes a hard turn. And Damn, then that's dark. It is. And then a follow up ad is everyone at his funeral, just like bobbing their head to the music. That's like the theme song for the shit. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's crazy. Yes. That's pretty cool. We're just talking about ads. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we did exactly what they wanted us to. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the point of advertising. Yeah. Which, yeah, whatever. When's the last time we talked about a fucking, what, Tide ad from the States? <laughs> yeah. But so there was like an ad for like a fucking, like a fried, like a fried chicken, like meal or something like mm. in, in this. Oh, I could go for a fried chicken meal right now. Yeah. And, and it was like some girl in the States is like, I'm missing my fried chicken, but I can't have none because it's over there in London. And, and then it's like promoting a fried chicken meal in England. Mm. And so. Maybe that's just the future. Like we're just gonna all start stealing from each other because mm-hmm. everybody's so burnt out on, on the traditional stuff. Mm. You know, like Koreans are gonna take unseasoned hot dogs, Dodger mm-hmm. dogs, and start mm-hmm. slaying them shits. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Korea dogs. Korea dogs. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Probably Korea not. dog. <laughs> oh god. You know, I gotta say, <laughs> someone said, someone said, don't go to Saint Hubert. Hmm. Saint Saint Hubert. Yeah, Saint. Oh yeah, Saint Hubert. Yeah. Uh, we were Saint Hubert. Because yeah, Saint. Yeah, that's what it was. Hubert. Hubert. Because no U in French, right? Right. No Hubert. H. No Hubert. H. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so someone told us not to go there because the chicken was gross or something. That's so that, this is my only memory of Montreal. One of them is getting Saint Hubert and fucking loving it, thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah. And so someone told us that's not true. It's not good. And we went there and we got it before our show. We had it delivered to the green room, and it was fucking delicious. Yeah, I fucked up. You got the wings. I got something else, and what I got was... Not good? No bueno? No. We went back the next day. You did it again. To St. Hubert, and we got the Indian-flavored one. Okay. Indian spices and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, Oh, bon appetit. I have to go back. Yeah, so... so, (laughs) I got to go back and do it right because... Well, first off, shout out to the boy. He was like... My friends work there, and they would throw the chicken on the floor. First off, bro, don't care. We appreciate the warning, but if you, we've had KFC. Mm-hmm. That shit, that shit arrives on the floor, and they pick it up off the floor and put it in the fryer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they be fucking with that food. Yeah, that's true. That's how they. That's how they give it to you. Yeah, is they take the bucket and they dump it out yeah. on the ground. Yeah, and then you have to pick it up <laughs> and eat it yourself. Yeah, yeah, and then they they actually put the sauce on the pavement too, so you have to like dip it on the pavement and then eat it. <laughs> there's a lot of that in the new cringe (laughs) yeah there is man there is we got cody dry heaving dude (laughs) that's the closest i've ever gotten to like feelings ill same that was crazy yeah that that was actually that was fucking (laughs) gross it that really was. It shouldn't be a cringe. It should be this is fucking gross. Yeah, I mean maybe that's what I'll call it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But new t- should be out tomorrow, hopefully. Oh damn, and Fast I Boy. I think maybe on the main channel. Fast Boy. I think, yeah. It's I a, got it's another. A, it's a main. Yeah, yeah. I it's think it, I think it might be first four minutes are really funny. So we'll it's see. It's a main. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. We'll it see. ain't coleslaw, man. Yeah. It's a chick. It's a. It's a chicken breast. Yeah. I think and we'll a, see. This is the first one that I've n- haven't edited myself, so yeah. we'll see. Shout out to our boy Noah. Shout out Samson. to boy Noah, who's injecting a lot of humor in in the in the edit. It's really fucking funny, and it's mm-hmm. like really refreshing seeing someone else's work who is very very good, better better editor than me for sure. Um, like it feels good filming a cringe and then watching it for the first time. Yeah, because then I actually get like some real perspective on whether it's funny or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it also like it motivate like it just like. I don't know. Now that I had to have this editing work, I'm not saying I'm gonna <clears throat> not edit all my videos from now on, but I'm going to offload some of it. And it's just like a good feeling that now, like yesterday I made this song for a new video and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I had to edit this video. So now I got another one lined up for next week Yeah, already. Well, the the, uh, the other thing, I don't think it's necessarily bad to offload to editor if, um, if like you're handpicking that editor, you know, and if like yeah. they understand what you do and yeah. it's not like a job to them, yeah. then I think it's fine. And when you're too close to something, you can't like, you, you just don't view it differently. Yeah. You know, like I, like whatever, like, like Suki, like I'm wrapping it up and I like, I'm happy with the way I cut it, but whatever big project I would do next, like I, I won't cut it because, or I might cut it depending, but I know that editors that just, it's, it's a craft and 
the more that they do it, they're going to see things that I would just never see. Yeah. You know, and, and it's actually kind of interesting because some directors, big fucking directors, um, they cut everything. Yeah. Which is like cool. But when you look at, when you look at editors who are like known for just being editors and you see the way like they cut scenes and stuff, it, it, you, it, it has that same effect where you're like, oh shit. Like one, it gives you perspective as far as like making it, but two, like, they see things that you don't see. Yeah. Like some of those things that he did, like we would have never. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I just think it's going to give me, it's going to give me like the confidence I need to really post more videos because yeah. I lose a lot of enthusiasm and confidence in, in the fact that we're like, sometimes I have an idea, but it's not great. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I won't film it because I know like I'm going to have to spend hours and hours injecting humor <laughs> in the yeah. edit. Right. But now if I know, Oh, I can trust this person to do a great job. Yeah. I'm going to film this thing anyways, because mm -hmm. even if it's not a hundred percent, even if I don't feel fantastic about it, there's not that overarching, oh fuck, you're also going to have to edit this and that's going to be a huge, huge task to make it funny. That stopped me from doing a lot of shit yeah. like like early in YouTube. That I, I really got turned like sort of like into this idea with like the Twitch stuff yeah. because when, you know, I was like, okay, I, I just won't cut it. And like having that workflow and like seeing what he would do back, shout out Keo, it was just like, oh, okay. The one thing I will say is I don't think it's actually so much injecting humor. I think it's actually someone taking Finding the moments it. that you don't think are funny yeah. and are funny too. Yeah, true. Uh, you know, true. very true. Keo did that in a lot of cuts where I'd watch it back and I and there were parts where I go, oh, I didn't even know I said that. Yeah. Or like I would have, or like he used it in a way that was like he punched it at a certain moment. It's like, oh wow, that was actually really funny. Stuff that I would have just cut. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's always like that. So I, I think, you know, um, Finding Noah has been great. I mean, like, I love what he did on fucking steamy tweets. Like, he, yeah. made, he made, it was a little bit chaotic, but I was into it. And yeah. some people were feeling it, but I fuck that. I, yeah. think, I think it was great. I think I'm just going to hand pick like, what I edit. I'm still going to edit stuff because I still really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I still, I do find it like a really... Um, uh, fulfilling like creative thing mm -hmm. but I think now I'm just gonna like hand pick and choose and, yeah. and anytime I feel a little bit overwhelmed it's just like okay well yeah let's just offload this for right now and yeah. so I can focus on like the the creation aspect of yep. the idea generation phase and yep. making you know making sure the videos are like filled out and better with music mm -hmm. and with every, everything everything mm -hmm. else so I don't know yeah no 100 percent. I think it's um I think all around it's just a good uh it'll enable like it enables you to be funnier mm -hmm. just because you are focused on the creative process. And when you watch stuff back, you're watching the edit, but you're also watching, like, I think you can pay more attention to like the, how like you're delivering jokes, like kind of like whatever. And it's, it's just like watching film, like, or like just replays. Like, you're yeah. like okay, I could have did this funnier. <clears throat> just gives you ideas about yourself. And, um, editing is, is can be super taxing. So yeah, I think removing yourself is good. Yeah. Hopefully it'll, yeah, we'll see. If it helps fucking anxiety and shit like that too. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it's helped me a ton. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I haven't outside of music videos and Suki, like I haven't I haven't cut anything for YouTube in a little while. Yeah. Just cause it's too over. It, I had the same thing, like cutting Love Island. Like I did a few, and like the anxiety I felt from having to watch that much of me. It, yeah. I don't. It was just a weird. Like I I couldn't do it. Yeah. I just I don't know. It's a I don't know. <laughs> so it's a, I should be able to, right? Yeah. I, I relate to you a thousand percent in that, in yeah. that regard. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. We'll see how it works. Uh, speaking of. It's also, it's something that 80% of people don't even fucking notice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like all the comments on your video are like, wow, can't believe Noel edited it yeah, this I know, one that it's way. Like and it's very like, clearly it's someone in else. in the description, like <laughs> edited by someone else. <laughs> so, I don't know. Did you see the video of that wave pool? Yeah. How sick was that? Yeah. I mean, like, it, oh, sorry, you, we're talking about the same one, right? Yeah, well, yeah. How sick was that? That people just got annihilated. It was hilarious, dude. I mean, yeah, per, that way was huge. How, why does it even go that high? I don't know. It's it's so funny, <laughs> and the reason is so good. Dude got drunk and just set it to ten. What the fuck? Oh, I haven't been in a wave pool in forever. There was one That's near a my where I grew pool, up, bro. That's yeah, not, that was huge. Yeah, that was not a wave pool. That was crazy. Why would it ever need to go that high? <laughs> It'd be fun if there was no one else in there. 
what what the fuck were they thinking when they <laughs> engineered that shit? So um, we want to, you know, we'd like it to be able to potentially hurt a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? We'd like to simulate destruction mm-hmm. if that's possible. Kind of like a small scale tsunami type yeah. thing. Yeah. So what we're going to do is the, the actual knob is going to go up to eight, but then we're going to have a NOS button that with a plastic <sighs> case over it. Yeah. And G, so you just open it and press the thing, but don't do it. Yeah, definitely don't. Don't do it. Yeah. And for, you know, what, 15, 20 years, no one did it. No one did it. And then one guy comes into work, a little bit sauced, you know, off the white claw a little bit maybe. <laughs> and he walks in there and hits that goddamn button. <laughs> I like to imagine that it's not even, a, like, restricted like that. I like to imagine it's just like, yeah, eight's good. Don't put it on nine. Yeah, it's got a little tape marker. Yeah, just with like, some permanent marker yeah, that says don't. like big wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's nondescript. Ten foot. Yeah. What? What does that mean? Um, hey, should we do big wave today? <laughs> no one's ever done it, man. I'm fucking down. <laughs> Then he's just sitting there wasted, like, oh, oh fuck. fuck. People got launched, oh, bro. Yeah, dude. Clap. Like just smoked into the <laughs> into the bottom. They must have. It was huge. And they're all in tubes and shit. So they got picked up and just slammed. <laughs> I love how the video starts too. It's just like right as the wave is <laughs> I know. coming over. And you can see all the people's reactions that are <laughs> about to hit it. <laughs> And they're all kind of like, uh, what the, is this supposed to be happening? And they see all like the fucking. <laughs> the dude like runs away and you see like the water like washing below his feet and he pulls the camera back and there's just people on their sides. Just like the whole wave is just people because it's just picking up people. And so it's just this people wave. Oh, it's so good. So fucked. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm, I'm even super. I mean, I'm empathetic, but God damn it. It was so funny. We don't know if anyone actually got, it, got, it said people got injured. Yeah, but was what's that like a boo boo? Yeah, I don't know. You got a boo boo or something? Boo-boo? What do you got? A you got yeah, you got a little boo boo. Got a little goose egg. Mm-hmm. Boo boo, little boo boo, boo 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 boo. Bro, Spock coming? He he is. I I let him know what's up. But and your things at twelve? So one. One. Okay. Yeah. No, we're fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, bro. I didn't we're even. Chilling. I, bro. How did I miss this? I I was. <laughs> no, no. This is truly like I was blown away. Bachelorette finale. Mm. The show is credits are about to roll. Okay. It's like it's the you know it's the end of the show. Chris out of nowhere just goes, By the way, our season the couple just gave birth to their second baby. Woo! I know. She gave birth in the master closet. True story. Tune in next week. <laughs> You're just like Wait, what? what? Uh, You're huh? not gonna say how, why? Yeah, yeah. How? Like, how? did her just water just break? <laughs> like, what? Baby just yeah, fucking. Just went, <laughs> I was just, it was just like the <laughs> coldest shit. Baby came flying out of her pussy. Tune in next week where we meet up with the Pepsi yeah. Man for our. She gave birth out of her mouth. Tune in next week. <laughs> We're gonna be checking in with <laughs> all our couples on the Bachelor in Paradise season. <laughs> What if that was just his thing right before the end of every episode just has something so daunting yeah. or just terrifying? Or just weird. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Uh, Michael actually has six toes. I've tasted one. <laughs> Coming up next week, we are going to see the drama between Brittany and That's David. That's like the Love Island narrator. He would yeah. do some shit yeah. like that. <laughs> no, his puns are great. Um, I, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know if I should save this for... <sighs> I, oh, I could say this for the next steamy tweets, but it's just like, it feels so relevant and so good. Do it. Save it? No, it's fucking spit it out. So someone uh, tweeted <clears throat> a Because pic- we could also talk about that on the next steamy tweets too, but I want to talk about that right now a little bit. Uh, Which one? Did you watch this video? Wait. Family guy porn? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah maybe we should save that. Yeah, you think yeah, so? Yeah, I think okay. so, yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys watched our Barstool thing, but we were on um, 
the uh, answering the internet show. Yeah. And one of the questions was, would you fuck a cartoon character or whatever? And I said, Lois Griffin. And they were like, oh, so you've seen those ads as well. Because it's yeah. like a famous like yeah. porn, porn ad where Lois, Lois Griffin's all fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. And then someone, so someone linked me Family Guy porn. Sick. It's like Family Guy parody, but it's porn. It's so fucking funny, dude. Or maybe maybe we just watch that for our bonus episode. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's so fine. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not so mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All that's right, actually we, a good idea. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. That's comfortable. Yeah. Uh, somebody tweeted their collection of dildos. They're gigantic. They're massive. I I was floored by this collection. But tweet them at you, or they no, just tweeted just, them. Just just in general. And you were searching dildo collection. Yeah, I was. Ser- uh, no, I was actually searching ugly pussy, and then dildo collection came gotcha, about. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, 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 wait. So, I'm gonna dis. <laughs> so it's a massive collection of dildos. Um. It's only got like 2,000 retweets. Okay. So I just want you to zoom in on the lower right-ish area. Just zoom in. And like really really pinch it out. And tell me what kind of dildo you see there. On the lower right area. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God! They're, at, at, I mean, that's fucking crazy. But like, Holy seeing that with the shit. rest of these, what Holy the f- shit! <laughs> I can't believe that that's real. Fuck whoever made that, dude. Are you gonna explain it? I um, I, it's sh- it's shaped <laughs> like a baby, like a baby, a human baby. That's. Fucked up. I felt like that might be too graphic for the steamy tweets. That is fucked up, dude. And it's like, did anyone respond and be like, yeah, what the fuck is that one in the lower oh right? Oh, yeah, everybody was making jokes about it. But, I mean, it's like, it's like, um, the baby looks like it's going down like a water slide. Yeah. Like, it's like arms are crossed and yeah. it's like, <laughs> it's like, like it's about. Trying to get the most speed. <laughs> yeah, the was shooting out the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Damn, that's so fucked. It's so fucked up, dude. But these Jesus. other dildos are crazy. Yeah, those are fucking insane. I don't even get this one that's like uncircumcised. What a collection. The best part is if she keeps those for like 10, 20 years, they're going to be worth way more. Yeah. In the future. That's that's Definitely. a good thing about collecting things. This shit. How do you get this in your body, bro? I know. It's insane. Oof. Damn. You got to be like cavernous. To... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you gotta have a lot of room yeah. in your body. Yeah, you gotta be a big boy or girl. Or that, or just, like, be Anything, really, like, yeah. empty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really empty inside. Yeah. That's what happens when you use Twitter too much. You become so depressed that you have no stomach or heart. Yeah. They just, they just evaporate. <laughs> so you can sit on gigantic dildos, and they go through your entire soul, and you're just like, yeah, I feel nothing. Damn, that's crazy. That's 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 the next uh, Stan Twitter tweet. Yeah. Shoving 46-inch dildos in my body to feel something. Uh, it's lit. No? All right. That's fucking crazy. That's dude. fucking crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> um, what else has been going on? That fucking guy, I got a DM from some dude. It said, um, it said, you cool with people drawing porn of you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, I... I we we put a bunch of shit in the chat. Of course it's cool. <laughs> it ain't even a question. <laughs> yeah. You cool with people drawing porn of you, man? Is that cool? Oh, speaking of um toes and six toes, mm-hmm. Army Hammer. What's good? Army Hammer. Yeah, what about him? <laughs> this headline. This headline is never a headline that you hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. I also want to read some of the comments on the Barstool videos. So oh, let's keep that in they, mind too. they hate us. Yeah, they fucking hate us, dude. <sighs> Which, uh, you know, I, I guess I understand. <clears throat> Wait a second. Wait a second. Holding. Wait one second. Yeah, I think, I don't think Barstool and, and our, um, at least the, the Barstool sports followers on Instagram. Oh, they don't like I don't us. think we have a lot of crossover with nah, them. No, <laughs> no. Nah. At all, nah. Uh, it's like li- listen, li- li- listen. To this headline: Army Hammer grosses out fans. Post video of son sucking his toes. No. 
Damn. Army Hammer's wife responds to video of son sucking dad's toes. She says... <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't even watch the video. Oh. Is it bad? Let me see. Oh, no. Oh, the caption on it. This happened for a solid seven minutes. Oh, my God. Why would you let your kid do that? Ugh. Is he going to work? Oh, he laughing about it, too. Let me see the shit. Let me see the shit. Let me see the shit. This is shit. <laughs> He's sucking them, dude. Why would you let your kid do that for seven Why minutes? Why would you put this on the internet, dude? <laughs> seven minutes, dude. I would just be scared my kid would get like a mouth disease. Yeah. Like my feet are fucking disgusting. Bruh, dude was on that shit like a... <laughs> I didn't even finna say it. He was eating that shit like crab legs, dude. He yeah. was like going in yeah. on that shit. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That is that is something. Oh man. I didn't watch the video. It was funny until I watched the video. Now I'm like, I'm grossed out. Um speaking of things in mouth too, I also wanted to say I was thinking when Tom was like, I wanted to see if you're all mouth tomorrow. Yeah. She's like, what did you mean by that? Yeah. And what if he just had the most back? He's like, oh, I just I wanted to see if your vagina had teeth. <laughs> huh? Yeah, like, I don't know. He's like, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> I guess I will fuck you then. <laughs> Just so you can see. <laughs> you think that my pussy has teeth? <laughs> you think teet, my teet. vagina has teeth? Teeth. <laughs> you think my vagina has teeth? <laughs> no, no, not tits. How dare you? How dare My you? My vagina does not have teeth. It is 2019. No woman's vagina has teeth. <laughs> teeth. I've never seen a vagina with teeth before. Oh, ow. Ow, we got his back. Just laugh too hard. We Pulled got a his rib or some back. Shit. Ouch. <laughs> That's what you can expect from the... Yeah, now my MRI is going to show. Fuck it. Ow, oh. dude. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> If a teeth pussy joke is what breaks your back, that teeth is... Teeth pussy. Teeth pussy. Not teeth pussy. Teeth pussy. N nipples on... Mine does not have teeth. My nipples never had teeth. <laughs> My vagina never had teeth. This is what I wanted to read. Okay, so Barstool Sports put us on their like main Instagram, right? Which is a... The main one. The one with like 6 million followers that it's just memes and shit. So when I saw that, I just turned my head so I hard. Like, I was oh, like, oh, God, no. Fuck me. The question, the one that they posted was us answering the question, would you get 50K to give a blowjob once or 5K for each blowjob you give? Right? Yeah. yeah Funny course. question. But you know the type of audience that Barstool Sports Instagram has, right? Yeah. No? Well, here we go. This is a comment. That took too long. Y'all gay. Yep. Of course. This ain't it, Barstool. This ain't it. Yeah, this ain't it. Got it. What, what, actually, you know what? I was thinking, we never discussed, do they have to finish? They've really ran out of guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of people were saying that. Uh, it looks like the talent pool is dry. Uh, this is my favorite one. The talent pool is dried up, and so they had to get two no-name comedians. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, isn't that how the fuck you get a name? Why is asking straight guys gay questions a thing, bro? Why? Why? Why is it a thing, dude? It's just so funny. Because we're fucking gay. It's just so funny like to them. It's like straight and gay. And you can't... Yeah. Oh. You shouldn't be talking about sucking dicks. It's gay. <laughs> You're straight. It doesn't add up. <laughs> it's pissing him off. Yeah. Stop it. Why are you even... What? Who's asking the questions? <laughs> Why don't you ask a gay guy that question? Because they would be the ones sucking dicks. I'm not, oh, I just said it. I don't, I don't want to say those <clears throat> words. Trevor, get, give me the soap. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. I said I said, I said it. I said it. I said it. it suck, saying sucking dick is like Voldemort to a straight yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The deed that must not be named. <laughs> they were talking about it. Yeah. You know it. I don't even, oh, now I'm thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gay. 
So how can I even, how is it even possible for me to think it's about like it? Maybe it, I am gay. It's so angry. If he's not gay, <laughs> then why is he talking about it? Don't you see? I'm not gay. I don't. I don't even want to say it because I'm not gay. So if I don't want to talk about it and I'm not gay and he's not gay, then don't you see? It doesn't add up. And now you're posting these videos and I like the memes. <laughs> I like to watch guys on Barstool that get really drunk and fall down. And like, and now you're making me watch this, this shit where this guy's answering this gay question. He's not even gay. <laughs> <laughs> can't stop can't stop throwing oh, oh my god oh, be sick oh, make, please make it stop <laughs> spewing on the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> it's too gay <laughs> yeah that shit is so funny dude this is the the inability, yeah. To even they, they like they don't get humor at all. Yeah, they can't even fucking process that it's <laughs> a dude sucking a dick. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other you. There, I don't get it. I like imagine it's a revelation, mm -hmm. like off his phone like that. Just like it hits him at a bus stop. He's like, oh. Guys, he's gay. <laughs> Look at my phone. Look, he's gay. He doesn't know it. He's gay. <laughs> oh, my God. He's. I have to. Guys, I don't think he knows it. He's gay. Oh, my. Like, he wouldn't be straight if he's answering this question about how is it not. Do you not see this? How's no one in the, else in the comments talking about this? Calls his friend. Bro, 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 bro. Check this out. Check this out. I'm watching this video, right? Did you see the Barstool thing? Yeah, I saw it. You saw it? You saw it. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, I know. He's gay. Did you comment? Uh, well, I was gonna, but like... I okay, yeah, yeah. You do it, because okay. I'll do it too. Okay, like, for sure. He's, he's got a... Like, it's like kind of... Oh my God, Just bro. for his sake. I mean... It, I'm gonna DM him real quick. Yo, dude, you're gay. <laughs> Imagine getting that DM, but it's some, it's some, like, some like high school kid just trying to help you. Yo, bro, I watched your Barstool video and like, no cap, like, it's all good. Like, you know, gay people is lit. I have nothing against y'all, like, but I don't, I think you don't know, like, you're gay. Anyways, man, like, you're real funny, like, on God, like, just massive support. Like, if you ever come out the closet, like, I got you, I got you, fam, but like, you're gay. <clears throat> he doesn't know he's gay. What, something happened over there? Yeah, what the fuck is this shit? What, what, what shit? What shit? What shit is this? What shit is this? What the fucking shit is this? What shit is this? Don't you ever talk about my pussy with teeth like that yeah, ever my again. my pussy does not have teeth. All right, guys. We gotta wrap this up because we gotta record something else. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, we got in trouble because uh, we did the... We did the jewel neck hole bit, and apparently we had done that before. No way. <clears throat> we did. No, we didn't do that before. Someone got two clips, and I. it was when we were talking about the den stick, and I joked about. Okay. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so we, we really were. We really want to apologize for having um, yeah. fucking 16 gigabyte hard drive brains. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fucking sorry for doing the same bit twice. <laughs> I feel really bad. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm like... Pretty torn up about it. Yeah, I think I got to call my therapist. <laughs> I made the same joke twice. Well, that was like a year ago. <clears throat> no, it was like six months ago. We have I'm no, surprised we didn't re remember that. We have no concept of time anymore. It's crazy. Damn. I was actually, well, I actually am sorry. So, sorry if that bugged yeah, you. Yeah. Well, RB. Straight up, our bad. That's bugged? No. This, you ready for this? Hello? Hi, I'm calling from Vehicle Servicing to reach out regarding the factory warranty on your vehicle. Our records indicate it's past the coverage expiration. Is that right? Huh? Okay, well, I see the vehicle here on oh. file is actually still eligible for vehicle warranty protection. Okay. For security reasons, let me get a specialist who can give you the details on the vehicle and explain your available options. Oh, okay. Please hold. Okay. What, cool. was your, what was your name? Thanks for holding. 
Okay. All of our coverage specialists are presently busy helping other customers. Okay. Please okay. stay on the line to maintain your call priority. This guy's nice. <clears throat> yeah, nice guy. Well, I'm really scared because my car, my vehicle is out of warranty. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you very soon. Uh, we're we're going to we'll do the porn. We'll do the bonus porn episode. See. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Copy. Peace, guys. Copy uh, TMGPod.com if you want to get merch. TinyMeatTour.com if you want to get tickets to the <sighs> October tour. Almost yes. all sold out. So yes. if you do want to come to that, jump on it. There's a few days that aren't sold out. And top tier Patreon or someone DM me about merch. We got some new hot merch on the way uh, to y'all. Yeah. So yeah. Gang, and, gang. and hopefully hiring someone soon to help out with that stuff. So. Oh, yeah, 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 so. yeah. We got a big, 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 big job. Yeah. Big job uh, uh, open for mm -hmm. whatever the fuck, applicate. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how you say that. Yeah. Big old job requisition. Okay. Big old one. Big old job rec. See you guys. See you, gang.